I want you all to honestly do something today. I want you to hit pause and take about five minutes after I tell you what to do to do this. Uh, it may take longer. It's up to you, but at least five minutes to honestly do this. OK, I want you to scroll through your text conversations, scroll through your DMs, scroll through social media threads that you've been a part of and read what you said in those texts, in those threads, in those DMs. Read it out loud to yourself. Really think about what you've been saying and how you talk to maybe who you've been calling your friends or, you know, who you call the person you're with or whoever that thing may be, whoever that person may be, whatever position they may have. See what you're saying to them, what you find, you know, funny, what y'all laugh at. And what are some common things that you notice? So just take some time to do that now. OK, so now if you honestly did what you're supposed to do, you would have paused me right there at that break. And then now you're listening to the second part. So. Now you should have recognized some things about yourself, right? And your language and your focus, right? You may have seen some, you laughing at some things that ain't really funny. You may have said some things that when you say it out loud, it makes no sense to you. It's weird to you. Or you may have been, I know I was guilty of this. You may have been like sneak flirting or saying things that just you wouldn't actually say if you were in front of that person or with that person around that person now you wouldn't say it with that tone that you said it with or that you texted with with all those things considered i want you to consider this word that the lord gave me sometime last year but it's just he's bringing it up now again he said that my text messages were killing me and i didn't really understand what he meant but then as soon as he reminded me that life and death is in the power of the tongue i said that's weird because i didn't say it but then as soon as I did that, and as soon as, you know, I tried to defend myself, you know how we do, you know, God say something, you're like, all right, God, you know, yeah, but, but this particular time, he reminded me that in the court of law, what's text, what you text can be used against you. Like, it's the same as you saying it. Like, if you send somebody a threat through text, you threaten them, period. It's not a, it's not um what we think it is. It's not a separate place. We treat our text messages like it's a separate place. Like it's like it's this it's this place where we can just say what we want and DMs and all that. We treat it like it's this place where we could just say social media. We treat it like it's a place where we can say what we want, do what we want, and not have to be accountable for it. But God is saying, I'm holding you accountable for every word that you tweet, every word that you say, every Instagram DM that you send, every Snapchat conversation that disappears, I remember them. So I'm Every word that you say matters to me because every word that you say is either life or death. I know I used to laugh at certain things and Lord was like, why are you laughing at that? Somebody else's pain is funny to you. You're literally picking at somebody right now and you think that's funny. You think crude joking is funny. I'm not saying this to take any joy out of your life or to say you can't have a little fun. But if you think that that is fun or what I'm trying to say isn't fun is if you really think that picking at people or, you know, laughing at people's pain and all that stuff is like fun then okay you know that's you i guess but for me for me i'm i'm not doing that anymore i'm not allowing my text messages to kill me a lot of people get in trouble over these text messages and these instagram dms and all the other stuff because they're like but baby you know i wouldn't say that you know I, you know i wouldn't do this you know i wouldn't do that but it's like bro you, you you just said that you know you just did that and you can really see a lot about your heart when you do some introspection and you look at your text message and you say okay what am I really saying? What am I really talking about? And it showed me at that time that, man, I was living two different lives, really. Like, you know, one minute I'm over here encouraging people with the word of God. And the next minute I'm over here sliding in DMs. Like, what kind of thing is that? Who is that? I had to ask myself. I even had to ask myself, like, what kind of language am I allowing people to use to me? What kind of language am I using? I'm talking like somebody who has no faith. I'm talking like somebody who's common, like somebody who's normal, not somebody who knows God. And so I would just want to challenge you, man. Don't let your text messages kill you. Speak life and hold yourself accountable for everything you do, even what you text and even what you send across social media, because it's not a separate world. It's not a separate world. You're not a separate person. You're not in a separate place. It's all the same you saying those things. And you have to face them and be accountable to them. And God is going to hold you and God is going to judge you according to every idle word that you speak, every careless word that you speak. So don't be careless with your words. Your words matter. 
And because we're so careless with our words and conversation with others and with uh, people that we call our friends, we get careless with all words. We get careless with the word of God. We get careless about everything else because we don't have respect. And because we don't respect our own words, there's, if we don't respect our own words, there's no way uh, the devil is going to respect anything we say. We'd be like, I'm buying the devil. The devil, get off me. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. And he ain't doing nothing because you don't even respect your own words. So why would he? So we got to respect our words, y'all. And that includes text messages. So please don't let your text messages kill you. Speak life always in every platform in every way.